In this video, we're going to discuss the best website builders for restaurants because I've helped over 2,000 restaurants with their website over the past seven years. And I've seen that which website builder is the best is entirely dependent on your specific goals as a restaurant owner. Is your goal to have a fancy, unique design for your fine dining restaurant? Or is it to grow takeout sales and acquire new customers from Google? Or is it to get something cheap and easy up and running for less than $50 for your website as your restaurant's starting out. Each of these goals has different website builders, which are the best for achieving them. So in the next few minutes, we'll cover the five best restaurant website builders and pull in real screenshots, real videos, and real customer reviews to show off the pros and cons of each one, which goals they make sense for versus which they don't, helping you see which one is the best for your specific situation. The five categories we'll be breaking down are one, best for unique design. Two, best for online sales growth. Three, best for getting up and running, but cheaply. Four, best for customization. And five, best for POS integration. The best website builder for beautiful, unique design is called Bento Box because it's got gorgeous design. The way they achieve that is when you sign up for their product, they have custom designers work on your restaurant's website to make that vision come to life. There's a philosophy, custom build the design to match that restaurant's look and feel which is great for fine dining restaurants that need to create a really strong vibe, a really strong brand first impression that feels super unique and upscale. But that comes with trade-offs. The first major trade-off is when you're creating custom designs where every little thing is getting figured out from scratch, it means that you're not using proven systems to grow sales. And what you're trading off there is the ability to have really strong SEO and really strong conversion rates of website visitors into new customers because you're having to build every little thing from scratch. And that means by definition, it won't be following the scientific process for achieving the ultimate sales growth. The second major con is that it is the second most expensive solution on the list. It does cost hundreds of dollars per month plus a big setup cost in order to get this going. The third major con is that I've seen that reviews say that sometimes it literally takes over three months to go live because everything is being built from scratch. There's a very lengthy onboarding process, and that can often add delays for restaurants. The fourth major con is that it's missing some key features that other restaurant website builders provide. For example, it doesn't have a branded mobile app integrated, so the restaurant can't have its own app through that website. It can't have text message marketing integrated or a variety of other features. And it's those missing features along with a few other things that caused Bento Box to have a 1.9 out of five stars on the review site with the most reviews around it, Trustpilot. Even with that low review rating, some customers rave about how beautiful Bento Box's designs are, and they're right. They do make beautiful, unique designs, which are actually great, again, in my opinion, for fine dining or upscale restaurants that don't need much other functionality. The best website builder for sales growth, though, is Owner.com. What makes Owner.com different from a solution like Bento Box is that it's super opinionated in its product approach, meaning that it isn't built to have unique designs designs, it's built for sales growth. And it's following all of these hundreds of best practices that are going to help it rank at the top of Google and maximize its conversion rate from website visitor into new customer. The way owner.com achieves that is it's not customizable. It's intentionally not customizable so that it can follow that proven system for success. It knows what headline is going to be the best for ranking at the top of Google. It knows how to order the website, what structure to put in, what alt text to have on images, is, what sections a restaurant's homepage needs in order to maximize its sales growth. The other major advantage, in addition to being the best for sales growth by far, is that it's got everything a restaurant needs to succeed online built in. That means a branded mobile app builder that integrates with the website so the restaurant can have its own branded mobile app included in the expensive price of the platform, as well as email, text marketing, and push notification marketing, but can actually automate it as part of the system to keep guests engaged even after they've left the website. The negative of owner.com is that it is the most expensive solution on the market at $500 per month. This is a case where it is super expensive, but you get what you pay for. And that's why owner.com is rated a 4.8 out of five stars on the reviews website with the most reviews, G2. I'm proud to say that it is also the highest rated solution in all of restaurant software. If you Google owner.com reviews and compare that to any other restaurant tech companies, whether it's Toast or Bento Box, 
or Clover or Square. Just compare them apples to apples, reviews across third-party websites, and you'll see that owner.com reviews are the best of the best. And of course, I'm biased in saying these are the pros and cons of owner.com because I've been building that software for the past seven years and I'm the co-founder and CEO of the company. Like I said, there's some disadvantages with owner.com and we are actually only the best solution in the sales growth category. We're not the best solution in the customization of design category and we're not the best solution in the cheapest category. That award goes to Squarespace because Squarespace starts at less than $20 per month and it's got thousands of templates to choose from. That's what makes it the best solution for restaurants that are starting out on a shoestring budget. The problem is that it doesn't have the beauty or refinement of a solution like Bento Box and it doesn't have the proven systems for sales growth of owner. So that's what you're trading off. You're not getting the beauty, you're not getting the refined design, you're not getting the proven system for sales growth, but what you are getting is the cheapest and quickest solution where you can be up and running for less than $20 in minutes. That's why they've got a 4.4 .4 out of five star rating on G2. It's not quite the 4.8 rating of owner, but it is still significantly better than Bento Box's 1.9 average rating across those Trustpilot reviews. This is because they can be set up in just a few minutes. And like I said, cost just $16 per month. So if you own a starter restaurant that just wants something up, quick, easy, Squarespace is the best option and does have the most templates to customize from if you wanna do things yourself. There's another highly customizable solution that's even cheaper than Squarespace. The one that's best for techies that wanna customize every piece of their restaurant online. And that's WordPress. So the best for the techie customization category, number three, goes to WordPress. Because WordPress is even cheaper than Squarespace. It doesn't start at $16 per month like Squarespace, it starts at $4 per month and has thousands of templates to choose from, even more than Squarespace. And it's the most customizable if you wanna do code editing. So you may be wondering, Adam, why the hell isn't this also the best in the Squarespace category of being cheap and easy for starters? And the reason is that that customizability results from being really, really technical as a product. WordPress is hard to set up compared to all of these other options and often requires setting up your own hosting and using code editors in order to get your desired functionality. It's not purpose-built for restaurants or even small business owners. It's more of a tool that tends to be customized by developers and is actually run by what's called the open source community, which is why I'd recommend Squarespace for starter websites over WordPress. But if you're a techie who wants to spend hundreds of hours in the weeds of customizing your restaurant's website, writing custom code, implementing unique plugins, then WordPress offers best in class for that category. And there are some restaurant owners I know who want that customization ability, and that is not available on any of these other solutions. So if you want ultimate customization and cheapness, and you're willing to spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours learning the technology, then WordPress is the best option. The other good news is that the techie community gives WordPress great reviews. It's got a 4.4 out of five star average on G2. And those reviewers were techies who tended to say the pros were its ease of customization, plugins, and developer friendliness. The cons they mentioned are the security issues where all of the customizations made WordPress prone to hackers in some cases, and a steep learning curve to figure out how to properly use. That brings us to the fifth category, which is best if you just want an easy POS integrated system. And the best website builder for native POS integration is going to be either Square or Toast. The way I describe Square and Toast's website builders is kind of like a worse version of Squarespace, but that happens to be integrated natively into your POS for about triple the price. So what you're paying is $50 per month around for those solutions versus $15 per month for Squarespace. And that can be a real advantage actually, if the thing you're optimizing for is just ease of use, let me get up and running, let me not have to learn another dashboard, just give me the native POS integration and a website and I'll take it from there. If that's your situation, then Square or Toast win. Because that native POS integration means that you can still customize your website, but you do it in the same dashboard and it's integrated natively with the same solutions. I keep saying the word native. So you might be thinking, what does native mean? What native means is that it's built into the tool itself versus integrating a third-party solution. The good news, if you care about sales growth, is there are third-party solutions that can integrate into both Square and Toast and Clover and a bunch of other POS systems and don't come with the same negative cons of not being great for sales growth that Square and Toast come with. Like my company, owner.com, has integrations into both Square and Toast to be able to inject orders into the POS, but without having to trade off the guest experience or sales growth that comes with their native solutions. The difference is you have to use the integration, which often costs more money, but you do get the 
those additional benefits in terms of sales growth and a superior guest experience, the ability to have your own brand and mobile app, the ability to have email, text message marketing, and push notification marketing all built in and more. That said, Square and Toast do have dozens of templates to choose from and are actually better if you care about customization than a solution like I built with Owner, which as I said, is not customizable. It can be personalized to look and feel like the brand, but if you wanna like figure out every little section of your website and what calls to action to use and all these other details that go into setting up your website, we intentionally do not let people change those things because we know that there is the best way of doing them to grow your sales and that is the entire point of our platform, growing your sales. It is not about customization, it is not about design, it is not about native POS integration. If you care about those things, then there's other great solutions out there for you. If I owned a restaurant personally, my top goal with my website would be driving sales, acquiring new customers through Google, maximizing conversion rates so that every website visitor that visited my site ended up actually becoming a customer. They wouldn't be native POS integrations to make my life a little bit easier. They wouldn't be tech customization like WordPress so that I could add all these unique plugins and custom code. And they wouldn't be looking uniquely beautiful because I wouldn't be running a fine dining restaurant that lives or dies on its ability to look uniquely beautiful. I'd be running a restaurant focused on making sure my online assets drive sales in a way that I can measure, in a way that is directly linked to my success. That's why I've spent the past seven years building the website builder just for that purpose at owner.com. Instead of giving you website tools to figure out and templates to customize, we say screw tools to figure out and screw templates to customize. What restaurant owners really want is the proven system to follow for growth. One that makes them show up at the top of Google when people near them are searching for their food and one that follows all of the best practices for converting as many website visitors into customers as possible. Because there's this thing in websites called conversion rate. And the average restaurant website in the United States is converting website visitors into new customers at a rate of just 2%, meaning that just two out of every 100 website visitors end up actually converting into new customers of that restaurant. The difference with using a proven system like Owner is that it's not a 2% conversion rate on average, it's more than a 10% conversion rate on average. And that isn't just an 8% absolute difference. That's a 500% difference, meaning that you convert five times as many websites website visitors into new customers when you're using all of those best practices. And you're probably wondering, Adam, okay, what are these best practices? How does that happen? The key here is that you have to get the website designed around the psychology of that new customer discovering the restaurant for the first time. When I'm a person searching for restaurants on Google that are Mexican restaurants and I'm clicking into different websites, I'm following this process in my mind to decide which restaurant to go to. I'm asking myself questions like, what makes this restaurant unique and different? And then do people in my community love this restaurant, which is where infusing social proof comes in. And will this restaurant actually be easy for me to order from? What is their wait time right now? What are their most popular dishes? And it is through designing the experience to answer each of these questions in the order that they're received in, that we've done through thousands of different tests across thousands of restaurant customers, that we can confidently say that this system is the best for increasing sales because that's all we've been optimizing for for seven straight years. Not just studying the thousands of restaurants that are using our platform and using their data to fine tune the rest where they're all constantly learning from each other, but also looking at the biggest restaurant success stories, the Domino's, the Chipotle's, the Taco Bell's of the world that have driven billions of dollars in digital sales and taking the best practices of what worked for them, copying them and giving them to independent restaurant owners to use, not just in the website, but across every part of that restaurant's digital experience, on their branded mobile app, on their online ordering system, on their email and text message marketing automation. We've got proven systems that give restaurant owners all of these things for that five dollar a month price and make sure that they're operating with the best practices for online success and sales growth. By the way, part of the way that's achieved is not just through clever marketing, but it's through providing the best digital guest experience. One that people actually prefer using over DoorDash and Uber Eats to order from restaurants to ensure that they actually keep coming back to that restaurant's website or keep coming back to that restaurant's app and ordering from it because that is ultimately what leads to sales growth over the long term. Not just clever marketing, not just clever SEO, not just clever initial conversion rate optimization, but a great guest experience that people feel is in their best interest because they know that it saves them money and gives them the most convenient experience. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue learning about how to grow your restaurant using your website, then I actually put together another video where I walk through the must have key elements of a restaurant's website. So if you're interested in that, click to the left of me right now and I will show you all of the best practices for your restaurant's website that you can follow even if you don't use our website builder in order to maximize your sales. 